So people ask me, Harley, a famous runner got busted doing steroids at a race. A Kenyan runner, Matthew Kisoli or whatever his name is, got busted with steroids in his blood and this guy can run a 58 minute half marathon. What's the deal, Harley? Why is this guy cheating? <laughs> well, here's the thing, man. This guy isn't cheating because everybody running that fast is on the fucking juice. Hard core. That's just how it is. Doesn't make them bad people. Doesn't make them bad Let's have a look at where they come from. Like, I did a running race this morning. I've won this local running race 15 times. It's a 5K. Today, I was winning the race. We come to the second kilometer. I got a crazy stitch. I was just like nine out of 10. I just slow right down. Second place, guy Jimmy come past, just flying past. I was like, can't do nothing. I end up pulling out the race. Pulling out the race. If I was a Kenyan or from a country where the average income was 800 bucks a year, and I was running to feed myself and feed my family, I wouldn't have any choice but to win the race and do whatever it took to win the race. <laughs> but I run for fun and for Strava points. I don't have to feed myself while winning races. Can you imagine that sort of pressure? That pressure forces athletes to take drugs. There's not a single world record, single top level athlete, there's not a single top level athlete in running or swimming, who is not on the hot sauce. You cannot be that fit as a human on fucking corn, water, and bananas and early nights. It doesn't happen. You can be healthy doing that way, but to go that fast, you must manipulate your hormones, your red blood cells, it's just how it is, and your heart. That's what you must do. If you don't, you can't run 58 minutes for a half marathon. You can't run 203 for a marathon. And then there's people who are living in fairyland who say, no, that's not true, Harley. This is an isolated case. Like, okay. <laughs> Let's say that there's people out there who can run 58 clean, totally clean, rice and garlic and water and bananas, a bit of sugar tea. Let's say they can run at 58 clean. What if we put them on EPO, HGH, Nandrolone, things like that, Sarah? What happens if we did that? They'd be running 50 fucking two. They'd be running 155 for the marathon. None of this 203 bullshit. If people are running 203 clean, they're, going to, they're running 155, 152 on EPO. That's just how it is. But people will say, oh, that's not true. Like, and now, I'm not saying these people are bad people. This is the world we live in. If you come from certain parts of Africa, you don't have enough food, you fucking die. You die. There's none of this, oh, we know, I'll go get some food stamps or, get, you know, well, no, 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 no. You fucking die. It's cutthroat, man. You don't take drugs, there's about a thousand runners as equally talented as you who are going to get on the program and are going to go to the Olympics and going to compete. Not particip I'm not talking about participating at the Olympics or participating at the World Championships. I'm talking about fucking winning that shit. I'm talking about setting world records. I'm not talking about, you know, participating. I'm talking about winning big races, big purse races, drugs, 100%. And who says otherwise is living in fucking fairy tale world. That's just how it is. The sooner we can acknowledge that, the sooner we can move on and start to work out and go, well, how, can we, how can we beat this situation? You've got to admit you're wrong, and then we can move on. Otherwise, it's fucking spinning our wheels. And, well, it's not really true, but that's an exception, no? No, no, no. 100% correct. End of story. So I run for fun. I run for health and fitness. I don't run to feed myself, fortunately. Post your comments down below. What do you think of the situation? What can we do? What can we do? Share your comments down below.